motors do not have to go in one direction. They can go backwards. So there's two ways to make a motor go backwards. You can make motors go in reverse by going to motors and sensor setups. Over here is a picture of what that screen looks like and clicking the reverse button. Because next to each motor, and we run VEX 269 motors for the most part, you just click reverse and now that motor will go backwards. And so you still put your numbers in as positive numbers and everything else and it will just run in the, in the direction opposite that it was running to begin with. The other option is you just type your speed in as a negative number. And here's an example of running your motor in reverse for five seconds. You just make it a negative 63 and it says, oh, well, instead of going forward, I'm not going to go backwards at half speed. So that's an easy way if you're going to be changing back and forth and like having a car that backs up and then goes forward, you're probably going to use negative numbers because you don't want that motor running in reverse forever just in that particular set of commands. So let's try that. Turn on the right motor, run it forward for five seconds at half speed, 63. Then turn it off. Then turn on the left motor and run it in reverse at three quarter speed, which is 94 and a half, or 94 you can round, for two and a half seconds. Then I want you to turn on both motors and run them at full power, which is 127 in the same direction, for 7.25 seconds, and then turn them off. Okay, so I want you to stop here, do task two. Again, your code is going to pretty much look just like the one I've given you here. Try that.